I wake up every morning at 6 o'clock without an alarm. These are my best tips for becoming a better morning person. Let's get into it. Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Walk With Me. This is Josh here and today we're talking about how to improve your sleep and wake up without an alarm. Years ago when I was younger you'd be a lot more likely to find me still awake for the night at 6 a.m. instead of waking up for the morning at 6. I was a nighttime person through and through and I never would have imagined now it's been years since I've actually used an alarm to get up in the morning. So these are my best tips for those of you that are trying to sleep a little better, wake up a little bit earlier, not have to rely on your alarm clock anymore. So let's just jump into it. All right, so tip number one, schedule your bedtime to allow yourself to have enough sleep to wake up when you want to wake up. I have a pretty regimented bedtime and try and stick to it at all costs and, uh, and really don't like staying up later than I have to or going to bed earlier than I have to. Your body has its own natural rhythm from different hormones that get released to tell you when to wake up, when to sleep, all that good stuff. And if you're constantly changing and shifting your schedule around, where you're staying up until 1 a.m. one day, you're going to bed at 10 p.m. the next day, your body is not going to be able to cater to those changes so quickly. So you're gonna have a really tough time getting a full restful night's sleep if your schedule is fluctuating so much. Obviously things come up from time to time, but it's important to schedule yourself that time, that eight hours every night when you're going to bed, set it and make sure and stick to your bedtime as much as possible. About 95% of humans need somewhere between seven and nine hours of sleep. Um, so take some time, experiment, see where you fall into that spectrum. I'm uh, somewhere right around seven and a half hours is when I tend to naturally wake up. Or my wife on the opposite end of that is somewhere in that eight and a half to nine hour range. So if you know when you want to wake up, work backwards from there. Leave yourself a little bit of extra wiggle room in there as well. All right, next up we've got tip number two, and that is take care of yourself in your day-to-day -day life. Make sure you're getting proper nutrition, make sure you're getting proper exercise. Those are all very, very important when it comes to sleeping better. It is a night and day difference for me in my sleeping quality and my waking quality when I don't get enough exercise for more than a couple of days. Or if I don't eat proper, if I am going out to eat a bunch or anything like that, I notice a big difference in my sleep quality. And obviously you should be doing this stuff regardless, but taking care of yourself during the day is gonna be very important for all of your hormone levels that get released that let you sleep. All right, so my third and final tip for all of you, give yourself a reason to wake up every morning. When I wake up every morning, one, I know I'm rested because I've slept my full time that I need. But two, I'm excited to start my day, so it makes it a lot easier to be able to just hop right out of bed and get going. I'm a big fan of morning routines. I love mine. Also, in addition to my morning routine, I work on this YouTube channel, which I also love. And even though it may be difficult at times, I am very happy and fulfilled in my general day-to-day -day life. I think this also has a bigger impact than a lot of people realize. Um, you need to make sure you're doing something that you're passionate about that you're happy with. And if you're not already doing that, it might be time to uh, to look at your life and evaluate and make some changes and try and be happier. You have much more control over your situation than you realize. I live a completely different life from what I did a few years ago. And, uh, and it didn't take millions of dollars or anything. Uh, it just took a little bit of courage and risk and, uh, and here I am. So in summary, one, Schedule your bedtime. Make sure you're getting the proper amount of sleep that you need. If you're worried about losing out on being able to do other things from sleeping more, you're gonna be a lot more productive if you're rested. So schedule that time and you'll thank me later. All right, and two, make sure you're taking care of yourself. Get some exercise. Take care of your body from a nutrition diet standpoint. Make sure you have your work-life balance dialed in for your personal taste. Just make sure you're taking care of yourself and you'll sleep a lot better throughout the night. All right, and tip number three, if you've got all that other stuff taken care of, make sure you have a reason to wake up and start your day every morning. So just make sure that you're living a life that you wanna live, and if you're not, start working on improving and changing those aspects of your life. But that was all I wanted to talk about today. Uh, sleep is always an interesting topic for me, so if you guys wanna hear more 
about sleep tips or how to improve your sleep, let me know down below. Um, I'd love to talk about it. And also like the video, it really helps the channel grow. It helps me out quite a bit. And subscribe if you're new here. I put these out every Monday, put recipes and vlogs and all sorts of other videos out on Fridays. But until next time, I will talk to you all later. Have a good one.